Over here we have a 50 inch Samsung LED uh, LCD TV with some bad backlighting. This is an edge lit TV. Here are the strips. One of the strips has 25 filled LEDs. New strips are pretty expensive for this TV. It's between $75 and $150 to replace these strips. Now at the end of the day, this is just a 1080p 50 inch TV. In my opinion, not economical to, uh, to spend that kind of money. And over here, we have a 50 inch LG LCD LED TV with a defective panel. If you see in the bottom here, we have some weird uh, hor uh, horizontal lines. Um, and again, <clears throat> here in the United States, it's not economical to order a panel. So you can probably see where I'm going with this. Here we have a good screen, uh, good boards, bad backlighting. Here we have perfectly fine backlighting and a bad panel. So I'm going to try to take two pieces of trash and make something useful out of it. With the glass pulled off, I can kind of double check the backlighting on the LG uh, chassis. And there's no dark spots. The weird banding that you're seeing is just the, the camera, the timing of the camera versus the backlighting. But uh, it looks good. I did have to cut some notches in the plastic for the tabs on the Samsung screen. Um, it has tabs on the sides where the original LG screen did not. So uh, there's four cutouts on each side here. All right, so this mess here is just for testing. I still have two power supplies and two main boards, the original LG main boards under that pillow. They're on pillows so that way I don't accidentally short out the boards on the chassis. So I have two sets of controls. Anyways, the backlight is on. And here's the T-Con. Yes, I know somebody in the comments going to complain that my T-Con isn't screwed down. It's just held down by Captain Tape. But uh, this is just, just for checking. And I do have an image. Yeah, there's the volume. So uh, now it's just a matter of sorting out the wiring. Um, the biggest issue I'm probably going to have is the dimming wire. They might not be talking the same language. Uh, I'm not worried about the on-off signal for the backlight. I'm going to try to get it so that it's just one power supply that runs the Samsung mainboard. The LG mainboard uh, won't need that anymore. Um, so I have to build like a wiring harness to hopefully convert over. And then uh, of course I'll be using the original LG speakers since they fit the chassis in the back. That's going to be hooked up to the Samsung mainboard. And then the switch, I don't know, figure something out about the switch. The switch panel is going to be gone. We'll see what happens with that. Here I just got done with the electrical. Went a little bit smoother than I expected. Um, the uh, power supply on off signal was 100% compatible. The backlight on off was 100% compatible and the uh, dimming signal was 100% compatible um, and then the uh, LG power supply is 12 volts but the uh, Samsung was 13 volts but it does run fine on 12. The only issue, the only thing I had to really modify was the 3.3 out of the LG power supply. Uh, the Samsung main board wants 5 volts so I have a step up a boost converter to take the 3.3 and make it 5 and it works fine. Here, I'll show you. Right now the TV is off, power supply is off, main board's off, backlight's off, and I can hit the power button here. And there we go. Smart, uh, Samsung Smart TV, LG frame, and it should kick on here. There. And then if I go into the menu, the picture settings, I can uh, adjust the backlight. So I'm going to put it to minimum. And there it gets darker. Backlight on max. And that works. And then uh, 
see our exit, and then I can turn the TV off again. And it shuts all the way down. This is what the back looks like with my uh, beautiful jigsaw hole to get to the ports on the Samsung mainboard. And this is how I had to mount the switch. This is the IR receiver, so this has to hang off the edge to see the remote. Power supply is in its original spot, so that works good. And no more LG buttons over here. Here it is, complete. This is the IR sensor slash power LED slash uh, joystick. That's just uh, mounted on the side right there. So this was uh, an edge lit TV. Uh, so now it'd be a more traditional uh, LED behind the screen style of of uh, LCD TV, which I prefer for two reasons. They're easier to work on, and they also are less likely to have light bleed where the rows of LEDs are. IR sensor works fine, and it's location sticking off the edge there. And the uh, LG speakers work fine on the Samsung main board. Well, I think this wraps up this video, so thanks for coming along as I take a trash TV and make something useful out of it. So hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.